All right, everybody, it's time to continue the show. Um, just so you all know, um, I actually did a little bit of training. This is my first file right here. This is my second file. I did a little bit of grinding that way. I don't have to grind so much on screen uh, all the time. I may do that every now and again, but for the most part, you're going to be experiencing uh, everything that I experienced firsthand because I, I did all grinding, like, right there. So, yeah, you're, you're not missing much. Ah, oh, good to see you back. Uh, for Lost uh, to reach all these things, uh, and for Mira, I guess those, and, you know, Sam, I guess, and, and Kagari-san, uh, there's one of those. Then go, Lost. You're, you're not gonna tell me what I have to do? Are you for real? I'm supposed to be, like, doing something, like, weird or whatever. Hey, Mega Silver, how you doing? Much obliged to see you here, um, so fast and early. Um, lovely, lovely to see you here. Um, just so you all know, especially you, Mega Silver, since you just came in, uh, I had to actually uh, uh, take care of a little thing uh, really quick. Uh, my brother came around. Uh, he's just started his new job, so it's very uh, awesome to see that he is. Uh, he was stressed at his old job for like, the longest time because uh, they just were not paying him and cooks get underpaid and just legit. It's just it's one of those things just like, you know, hey, I'm finally able to see him for a little bit. Um, he just got back from it. He's enjoying it so far. And it's just it's nice to see these little changes that are happening, you know? <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, as for, like, all the audio stuff and whatnot, I'm kind of surprised how loud this is. I have it as low as I could get everything. And I'm hoping that's good enough. Because, uh, like, the mic volume's at 5, and everything else is at 5. And if I go lower than 5, it don't pick it up. I, I, I don't know why that is. It just, it don't. And monsters have become very numerous in these parts. Vicious monsters are in the east. You should uh, first head north. Okay, so I kind of figured out to head north, but eh. It's one of those things where, like, okay. I came from uh, Kazavi uh, in the north on the way. I was attacked by monsters. I ended up losing all my wares. I made it here. My business is ruined. Oh. What a jamorama. He needs to get good. Oh, so these are just little tower areas that I could get stuff. Ain't they? What the? Why was I able to... Okay, it was just me being dumb, I guess, or something. And what is this? It's just my feet. And what did I got here? Ooh, a token! What does that do? Oh, it must be for the, the monster battle. Oh, I get free monster permission, don't I? What did I get here? Ooh, a cheat! Found cheat. Attain the cheat. I need to actually read up on all these, um... Whatchamahusits. Uh, the, the, the detail stat things and everything. You gave me the, this this guide, Mega Silver, and I haven't been looking into it. I apologize for that. It's just, just one of those things. It's just like, <laughs> I was too busy grinding and, and editing and whatnot. It just <laughs> I wish I looked through it more. Yeah, it alters personality. That's just what I thought. And antidotes and token. I guess token is single use. Oh, let's actually... Well, we'll reorder it later after I get everything done. That's up in the sky. My son likes to play too much, and that habit still persists, even though he's now the king. Well then. <laughs> the king actually getting, getting smack-talked by his, by his dad. I wonder if this is a thing that, that's traditional with Dragon Quest VII as well, because as far as I've played through VII, it's just been, like, I'm the prince, I, I know better, blah 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 blah. I heard the winds whispering. Would you like to hear them? Far to the west, west of Kazava, Kasave, a champagne a tower casts its shadow. I, whatever. I guess I could just do that then. So, this must be like for like a bomb or something, I don't know. That's really good on my nerves that it does that just randomly like, oh hey yeah, you got this magical key that can open a bunch of doors. But surprise! You don't really get to use it much. Hmm. I really went through there. That was the first place I looked. Come on, Lost, get together. Uh, please stop checking underfoot. Yeah, they already asked me this. I already, I already told them that I am. They didn't want to believe me. For Lost, this fades after a while. Uh, Lunar cures it instantly. Okay. 
probably should talk to the king. Probably. Because, like, he, he, like, told me there's, like, some sort of ruffians or whatever that are, like, doing things or whatnot. Like, that... He always tells you that after you save. So... I thought that'd be the case, but I guess not. Because he doesn't tell it, to, tell it to you when you come back from saving. Which is weird, because, like, why? That doesn't make sense that way. Whatever, man. Whatever. It just... Let's get through it. Did I get this? There was nothing there. I'm pretty sure I already talked to everybody in the town. It was just the castle that I had to like, go talk to. Um, aside from that, I did earn enough coinage uh, through uh, save abusing uh, the monster arena right there. And also, if you notice, my party's a little bit different. I have lost in front because I can. I think it's a little bit better that way. Just a little bit. I still have my waifu team, though. I'll always have my waifu team, though. Uh, yeah, look at that. Like, I almost have everybody equipped with the best things, and even then, it's still... Meh. Alright, so we'll give Mira that, because she's really good with the whole entire, like, I'm gonna kill everybody. And then we get to sell the club that she has there. For some months. Alright, cool. And that's all I really had to do for that little bit right there. I just wanted to show you all that I also have better equipment. That's right. When I, when I grind, I grind hard. And by grind hard, I mean just like right over here and that's it. This is new territory right now. Legit. This is how far. I didn't go this far. I didn't even know there was a forest there. But I do know how to beat these guys. Beat them good. Good, good, good. Please stop. 32 is defeated. <sighs> Dang it. Everybody else doesn't, like, kill him. Okay, that's what I was about to say. For real. Okay. So they're, like, up north or something. Oh, hey! What is this? I'll gladly look at other things. This door leads to uh, Portoga. You may open it. If and, uh, and go through. If you have the magic key. Are you asking where the magic key is? Yeah, buddy. Uh, what's wrong with that? If you can't find that on your own, it's you ought to go on. Go home. It's for your own good. That was rude of them. So, it's just a magical key now. I wonder what the magic key actually is. Like, is it just, like, a key that's, like, made of magic? Or is it a key that is magical? Like, it, it, it could be one or the other, honestly. There. There. I'm not gonna have her do fire bill. This fireball is awesome. It gets everybody at once. And everybody loves it. God dang it, dude. Alright, good. At least Mira attacks somebody else. Yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of them pretty easily. It ain't, it ain't too bad, it ain't too hard. Alright, I'll see you I'll see you in a bit, Mega Silver. You have fun doing whatever you're doing. Winky face. Oh dear lord, what is this? <sighs> They're just now I hate it that they're all different, because it's like, I can't attack them in a proper group anymore. I used to be able to do that. I used to have such a fun time, just like, smack them all. Please, Caterpilla. Stop it. Stop. Please. Oh, there's that. God dang it. Everyone's asleep. Legit, everyone's asleep. Okay, good. I was about to say, like, like you piece of crap. Do not make people f go back to sleep. Don't, don't redo this. Oh, hey, Grishopa, how you doing? Glad to see that you're here. It's a pleasure to have you. Um, just so you know, I did do a bit of grinding, and uh, we're we're going up to wherever the. Oh, I think I think I found it. Oh, this will be simple. Cause I got fire floss. Yum. Oh, and she does go first, so it's like boom. One, two, punch. Yeah. This is what I'd like to see. I'm also liking the the actual like colors that they use for like all the monsters and whatnot. Despite it being fairly basic in terms of combat, like even like for Dragon Quest, you still got some pretty good monster designs. I mean, I always I always think that Dragon Quest does that. Oh, that's so cool! All right, this is awesome. This is, this is how much I have to explore. Dang it. Alright, cool. 
pretty good. Started a new uh, fantasy series called uh, Idenda uh, that I'm really enjoying. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, uh, Gershapa. Uh, you know how it be. I got myself a good old Dragon Quest, and I love grinding. So that was fun to do. Also got really good sleep. Like, I woke up early, so I was able to do whatever I needed to do. Then I went, I had a nap. I actually always like, like, take a nap, just so y'all know. <laughs> Straight up, uh... I don't know why my body's like that, but just, like, I got used to, like, taking small naps. And when I mean small naps, I mean, like, naps that don't last more than an hour. More than an hour. On average, they're 15 minutes. On average. <laughs> so, it, it's it's pretty much a power nap. Like, straight up, just, I just upload something or whatever, and then as soon as I'm done with that, just go straight to, um, getting ready, going to get food, and all this and that. I know, right? Naps are so great, Grishapa. I love naps. They're the best. You take a, like, I used to hate naps when I was a little kid. And I know a lot of other people did too. So I ain't no special corn, cornflake. I, uh, I lost again. But I not give up. One day, I will be a winner as me. B buddy? Hi, ya uh, I lost again. But I not give up. One day, a winner will be a, a winner as me. What is this? What is this area? Is this a, like a gauntlet thing or something? Hey, you see that there? There's a hole over that altar too. Where does it go, do you think? I had no idea. And I memorized those words for no reason. Uh, let's go and heal. Oh, I already healed everybody. Nice, good job. Oh, oh, I found a token. Nice! Alright, so I guess this is where I, I put the tokens. Oh! Oh, oh, it's this! I actually really, really love this when, when I was playing, um... Was it Dragon Quest V? I don't remember what it was, but I remember playing this game before, and I absolutely adore this, because it's like a weird Monopoly adventure. And I would I would so love to like have a bunch of other... Like, a full-on spin-off of this game would be pretty fun. Alright, I'm playing this for sure. I am so playing this. You could try for a single token. Yep, please, thank you. Fine, that'll be one token. Yeah, ten rolls of the die on, on this course. Good luck! Alright. Yay! Okay, so we gotta roll before we can look at the map. Alright. And we got info. Right roll. Oh, five. That is really good. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on. Oh, I didn't look at the map. A okay, I was about to say. So I could go this way with that extra dice roll, or I could keep going this way. Mm. I believe that's a game over space right there. That little little uh, skull area. But over here should be fine, too, because I get another dice roll. Like, I land on a dice roll. So, I think that'll be better. I'll be better off doing that. Yeah! Okay, what do I get here? Four. Ooh, everything's coming up, Millhouse! Dude, 100G ain't, ain't nothing to snore about. Oh, dude, I'm getting good rolls here! Oh, it's a what a boomerang! Oh, boomerangs are so good. Because they hit everybody. They're so good early game. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll check underfoot. Ooh, dude! What is this? The luckiest Monopoly ever? Jeez Louise, dude. Check underfoot. 2G. Hey, I'll take it. Dude, I slayed this. Oh god, I forgot you have to get exactly. Okay, one, two, three. Oh no. Oh, I have to go back. Oh no! I gotta go back. Oh, don't, please don't tell me I turned direction. I hope not. Please, no whammo. Yes! <laughs> Dude, I nailed this 
like super easily. How did I even do that? I swear to you, I, I, no, I'm not hacking. I'm not doing any business. You did it. This is the goal. Take your prizes and drop down uh, that hole to get out. Congratulations. Don't go down the hole without uh, getting the prizes first. Otherwise, you'll have to start all over. 500 G. Jeez. And a steel sword. Holy. Holy moly. I cannot tell you how just amazed I am. Got that all for free. Got this. Uh, should I get the wooden thing too? No, I, I, I can't give it to anybody just yet. Uh, I... I'm surprised. I am shocked at how well I did. Because usually those things take a lot longer to do. It is legit one of the harder ones to to like like actually get really good at it and whatnot. But just I've always loved those mini games in Dragon Quest. They're just little fun little like the side uh, distractions uh, going on and whatnot. Um. So we give this to only these two. But what about the wooden one? Does the wooden one... Who could use it? Oh, Hima could, Hima could use it. I'll, I'll give her the boomerang. Most definitely. Yeah, go ahead and equip that. Please and thank you. And then you could just go ahead and equip this yourself. Don't pass it. Use it. But nothing happened! Oh, no! Forgot that's a, also an option you could do. <laughs> you, you, you could, uh... Hmm... Yeah, we're, we're pretty good. We're pretty set here. And the rest is just, like, whatever. Alright, cool. Dude, I am so happy. Just wow. I, I wrecked that up badly. I need to actually go return right now and save. Just for that sheer fact, I don't want this to not... Like... I want to make sure to keep that, that rule set, because... Whew! <laughs> That's so lucky. I cannot say how lucky that is, because it is so lucky. That's how lucky it is. It's so... <laughs> it's not even a number. But I, what other Dragon Quest have it? I think it's... I think uh, all of the, the Zenith Saga has that. I don't recall 8 having that, but 8 had its own little, like, casino area. And the casino area is, like, really fun and exciting to do, because you could actually, uh, quote-unquote, cheat the system in the casino area by uh, doing a weird little like betting system where as long as you won big one time you were able to uh, get through the rest of it just just fine and dandy like rare candy like it, it was it was no big deal you know I must ask you a favor of you a bandit by the name of uh, Kantar has absconded with the golden crown I uh, get it back and you shall have my recognition of you as a hero now go, Lost! So we're looking for this, this uh, Kandar uh, person. That's fair. And we got like a bunch of like awesome weapons and stuff like that, so we're gonna... We're gonna be pretty set right now, because everyone's like pretty tip-top shape right now. Uh, we probably could get some armor, but I'll, I'll save up for that. I don't need to like go after it right now. Alright, buddies. I don't think so. And Hima gets both, so that's really good. Oh, dude, Boomerang's so awesome in uh, early game. I think it's early to mid game that you want Boomerang. For anyone that has not played Dragon Quest VIII, always use Boomerang first and foremost until mid game. By mid game, you should be investing in Sword. Uh, Spear is also good, but aside from that, you're, you're not really gonna like work out too well. Which is something that I do have to say I like about um, uh, Dragon Quest VI, seven, no, wait, six. 8 and 9. 7 I have not played, but I recall it being a, a familiar with, uh, like, you could actually, like, customize your characters and whatnot with, like, its own little system and everything. Uh, on top of the fact that it had, like, a job system to it, which was actually introduced in, uh, Dragon Quest 6. Uh, one of the, the worst Dragon Quests, oddly enough. Uh, I, I only say it that way because it just, it's not fun. Like, it's, it's a weird sort of, like, there's tons of things that you do. That take way too much time to like get done, and it doesn't make any sense at all. I'm not sure if we could be over here or not. I mean, I'm defeating him, but I kind of don't. 
They're like ice wolves? What the heck? A putrid pup. <laughs> the putrid pup, I guess is the proper way to say it. Yeah, I don't think it's right here. I have to look around to hear a bit more. Oh, nuts. Now I'll just attack everybody. Hope for the best. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm annihil annihilating any everybody. Get out of here, magicians. You used to be like so powerful, and now you're nothing! You you got zero on me! Look at this! You attacked by, by everybody, dead. Boom. That's what I love about Dragon Quest. It's just the subtle little things that once you get better equipment, it suddenly is like up to the ninth degree that how powerful you are. Because just leveling up to like survive is not enough in Dragon Quest. Because there's be plenty of monsters out there that suddenly get the random jump on you. But once you get new equipment, everything changes for that area. It doesn't matter how low a level you are or anything like that. Like suddenly you're either on par with the enemy or you up them. And I've always loved that kind of like feeling that you get. And Dragon Quest, is, it knows how to do it for some weird reason. And it does it all the time. And with Final Fantasy, I never get that feeling. Don't get me wrong, Final Fantasy is a great, great series. But it just doesn't have the same feel that Dragon Quest has when it comes to its grinding bits. Because Dragon Quest is just able to make it to where either you power level or you get better equipment. And that's how you get better. It, it's not one way or another. You can do both ways. You can do neither way. You can do... um. Uh, just one way, and that's it. That's all I have to do. Oh, great. No. I, I may have to start doing this. The foil balls. God dang it. <laughs> Man. Please stop. Kind of think of it. There's another um, uh, RPG that just recently came out. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm saying uh, a lot. <laughs> Not more so for the fact that uh, y'all are probably... Probably don't like it, but rather the fact that I just it's my own personal speech pattern that I, I hate doing. It's it's an American thing. <laughs> See, I'm doing it again. Anyway, what, what was I saying? God dang it. I always get sidetracked by these things. Oh, yes, Pokemon Sun and Moon demo came out, so that is actually pretty cool. I'll probably be playing that later, not on stream or anything, just in legitimate. Just I ah, will play that later because uh, I like Pokemon Sun and Moon. I, I think it's it looks so much better than the previous generation it looks like it's actually a fun game unlike the previous generation and yes I will fight people about this gen 6 isn't good I, I will say that right then and there both of the games in gen 6 were not that good they weren't bad like for sure they're they're let me put it this way it, they're not great games like a lot of people are like oh yeah I know gen 6 woo uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I just like, no, not really. Emerald did Emerald did the whole entire remake version of uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Saf Sapphire better. I like Emerald, and that's coming from somebody that hates Gen 3. I don't like Gen 3, but I like em I like Emerald. Emerald's a good game. I like it. It's nice. But Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire just didn't really add much to it aside from you know making bases relative, and then even then like. I stopped using them, and it didn't, they didn't bring back the Battle Frontier, I was just kind of like, why not? That was the cool bit about, about Emerald, that's what got people started on the whole entire, we're going to actually competitive, like, competitively do Pokemon and figure out all these weird, crazy things about it, and all these weird statistics, and that was the cool bit, that, that was the cool thing about it all. I have no idea where I am, just killer bees everywhere. But, I mean, legit, the way I see uh, both, what was it called, X and Y and uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphires, they're just the prettiest games. They're, they are the prettiest games, but this is coming off somebody that just like, I love Gen 5. I really do. Gen 5 is easily, and objectively, I would say, the best Pokemon games. Not because like they have like better animation or... Uh, because like the battle system was better or anything uh, it just had way more to offer and the music was actually super stellar 
they went from that awesome hype music that you got when you're on like red to the same old bleepity bloops again, which I hate the bleepity bloops in, in the Pokemon games where they're like, doo 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 doo. This, how did they do that? How, how did you go back from, from, from that to that? It hurts, man. It, it hurts so much. Get rid of that butterfly. Oh, dang it. I was trying to actually do my uh, fireball because it wouldn't miss. Oh, the boomerang's not missing. That's good. That's fine. I'll take that. Oh god, it's getting close. Whew! That was way too close. Mm. Stop going to the map, dig it! No. There we go. Alright, so what's in here? Got all healed up and everything, so... Finally explore this town. So this is the little heal area and whatnot. Uh, nothing really. I just I just thought it would be nice to look at the tower. The town area. Jeez, lady. <laughs> what? What the what? Okay, I got... There's obviously something's happening right here. We probably had to visit at night in order to get this little thing. Buddy? Okay, so you're sleeping? I was a great fighter. Rumor has it that I defeated bears with my bare hands. I was actually using iron claws. Ooh, I found a tiny metal. Nice. Good job, me. And what else do I have here? Well, you said he had, like, tiny bear claws or whatever. So I imagine that you find, like, bear claws here, right? I guess not. So nothing there. What? Could be something here. <laughs> They're closed already. <laughs> I mean, like, it's like day and night time, you know? Mm. I'm kind of surprised that they actually changed the way everything is. You legit cannot do anything at night. Wow. This is pretty substantial for, like, an old school Game Boy Color RPG. Slash NES RPG, which I'm sure this emulates pretty well. No, Kander, you're not fooling me. But there's nothing inside. Ooh, token. Gladly take it. Sixteen G. Rip off. Rip off. <laughs> I'm that kind of person. Where I just, I see something, like, mm-hmm. It's how many G? I'm not, I'm not escaping right now, because I still need to be at this town. I'm not sure if I'll come back. One of those paranoid people. I come here from, uh, Kendar. He's supposed to be hauled up in a tower somewhere. Makes sense. Alright, so what weapons are here? So there's a spear. Chain. No one able to use the chain! That is odd! The iron thing... Mm. I could get the iron thing to increase... Uh, loss thing... As for scale... I, well, not everybody equip it, but most people could equip that. Sand could really benefit from that. bronze, which I don't have yet, but I do have scale to give. I'll actually buy a scale. That way, uh, a Samus could actually have a nice one right here. Mm, no, that's fine. I, I don't really have anything else to give, buddy. Alright, so, what about you? This is, uh, Kazavi. It's a tiny village among, uh, mountains. Hmm, so we were supposed to go here, as I recall. 
to the north uh, is no whales. Champagne Tower is uh, in the west. West is that way. Okay. All right then. So what's over here? Great fighter lights lies here. You said to have slain bears with his bare fists. I wish I had his powers. Also, is that like a side quest that we could do? Like get him his his bear gloves? All right. So what is this area? I'm telling you, the village was put to sleep for angering elves. They say there's a sleeping village somewhere. That's far-fetched, don't you think? She was telling you that, buddy. She she was telling you that. This is the village tavern. Join us for a few. No thanks, buddy. I think I've had enough alcohol. So, it looks like there's like a up place right here. Um, oh, there we go. Got it. What is this? Ooh, a life acorn. Nice. And nothing. Papa and Mama will be back at night. What is this? A fur? Ooh, I'll take that. And also nothing. So I guess if we come back here at night, we can see uh, the people that are here. And that's pretty cool that the, the game actually... No! No! Oh, it froze on me! Can I reset it? Is there a way to reset? I don't think there is. God dang it, dude. It froze on me! Trust me, this this has not happened in all the other times that it's been this way. God dang it.